We're here at the uh, Oral Leisure Centre and I'm joined by uh, Jimmy Kavanagh, Fin Gael candidate in this election. And Jimmy, uh, there's still a bit to go here. You're, you're edging towards being one of the ten people who are going to be elected. It's going to take another little while, but you must be pretty satisfied with the situation you find yourself in now as the counts progress here. Yeah, Charlie, the, you know, the transfers have been consistently good for me. Uh, I've had a lot of Letterkenny candidates below me and that has obviously been a help but the Letterkenny uh, votes seem to stay consistently in Letterkenny yeah. and slowly but surely I've, I've been claiming and uh, I mean I've, there's a long way to go here yet and I'm by no means certain but I'm heading in the right direction and I'm hopeful at this stage, I'm very hopeful that I will be one of those ten. Yeah. It's been a real struggle for yourself and Noel McBride, Jimmy, hasn't it? I mean, the party have got a real piston here, not only in this in this area, but we've been around uh, all the areas and around the country as well. Finn Gael have really taken a hammer in here. There's no arguing with that at all, Charlie. We've, we've uh, taken an absolute passion. And, uh, you know, it's a, a mid-term thing that happens to governments anyway, but it's a mid mid-term thing here now in really exceptional circumstances and uh, given the state of the economy and uh, the very very difficult decisions that the government have had to take and uh, the local politicians have suffered yeah. for what uh, for those decisions and uh, that's it's as simple as that there's no and there's no denying it um, it's been very very difficult and there's, there's an awful lot of big names have fallen in this election in the Fingale side you know and uh, but that's the price you pay for power, I think, on, in these sort of uh, circumstances. And, yeah. and uh, you know, that's why I'm, I'm particularly grateful, I think, to the, the people of Larry Kinney, in particular, that I think I got a personal vote rather than a party vote. And I've, I've just had enough there to cling on all the way. And hopefully it will be enough for transfers to get me through. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Noel McBride has, has, has seen his first preference uh, drop substantially. And, uh, you know, I'll be gutted if Noel doesn't make it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, maybe he can get that last seat. It's still very, very close yeah. and very, very tight. But uh, Noel's a victim of those circumstances as well. It yeah. uh, looks like he's possibly a, a victim of those circumstances. Yeah. He's one of those very good, hard-working councillors, and he's been there for ten years. Who are going to suffer as a consequence of the decisions that he's really had no control on, Jimmy? Yeah, and that's it. And Charlie, that's been the story of the canvas. Uh, I found that at. at, at uh, on the doors as well, because people have been talking about property charges, they've been talking about water charges, and they've been talking to things that, that I personally or know can't yeah. do anything about. Yeah. Yeah. But we've taken the rap for that. But as I say, that's that's the price of being in government, and uh, that's the way it is. You know, it, it tends to be that in local elections, uh, the, the local councillors take the rap for what's happening at a national yeah. level. Yeah. I've been at a few of these with you, Jimmy, over the years, and uh, you've had your ups and downs, and you've had to take it on the chin on occasions, and I remember one famous occasion where you were within a hair's breadth, but you took it like the man you are, and then came back and won it. I mean, to get on the county council, you've done a great job, obviously, as a town councillor, but this, this would be a wonderful step forward for you. Uh, it would be fantastic and would be fantastic for my family and for the people around me. I have a very loyal, small group of people that are tremendously loyal to me. We've done this on a shoestring. I haven't got a fortune of money to put into an election campaign. And, uh, you know, if we do pull this off, it'll be a triumph given the, the circumstances uh, of being a, a Fin Gael candidate. Plus, you know, the fact that we weren't able to run a very, very big campaign. So if we can pull this off in those circumstances, I'll be absolutely delighted. I'll be thrilled. Yeah. And finally, if you do pull it off, you'll be joining what looks like being a very small number of Fin Gael councillors on a 37-person council chamber in, in Lifford. So, you know, you're going to have to fight hard to get the party back to where people like yourself would want it to be, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, Charlie, anything less than two seats, to be honest, in this... Uh, was unthinkable for us and uh, you know it's just the way the thing is bounced now and it looks like we are going to have smaller lot smaller numbers than Lifford and uh, we're going to have to try and make the best of it and listen it's not going to be easy I know that it's not going to be easy and we could well find ourselves in a situation that we haven't got a lot of say over the next five years but that depends too on how numbers pan out yeah. you never know you know there could be some uh, arrangement there, that's for another day I suppose, but for now all I have to think about I suppose, is trying to get over the lines and that's no, by no means certain yet. You, uh, you referred earlier to that famous count yeah. back with uh, Neil Clark when Neil 
uh, put me by one, one vote, vote and, yeah. and uh, you know you never know uh, I don't certainly don't feel safe yet so you know having any sort of problem in Lefford will be great for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you well with it Jimmy thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.